play back at it with another YouTube video. And uh yeah, today we're doing WandaVision episode number four. Um we interrupt this program review. Um so yeah. Uh this is another another week, another episode. Um these episodes are definitely getting better and better. Um I think that's gonna be the case for the rest of the season. I think it's just gonna be better and better every episode. Um that's just my opinion. Um but yeah. So in this episode, it was kind of like a side, and uh, yeah, I should warn you guys, there will be spoilers in this episode, uh, this review, just, just to warn you. I always forget to include that in these reviews, is there will always be spoilers, unless I specifically say non-spoiler. Alright, so, so, okay, let's just begin here. Uh, this episode really takes place um, other than... Like, differently from the other ones where it, the focus is not on Wanda and Vision. It's more on S.W.O.R.D. and what's going on. And we got a lot of answers to our questions in this, to be honest with you. Um, got a bunch of stuff on Monica Rambeau. Um, S.W.O.R.D. And, yeah, and there was an appearance of Darcy Lewis, I believe that's her name. Uh, from, like, the Thor movies. We haven't seen her in a while. But she's back. Uh, that's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, where should I begin? Uh, let's let's start with from what we saw. We finally see where, like, the events of the snap on, like, kind of not Wanda, but in the show where we see Monica Rambo actually got snapped away, and she's looking for her mother, and then her mother is revealed that she died. Like before the bl or during the blip when she was gone, um, and then that happened, and uh, yeah, then we figure out she goes to Sword, and apparently her mother is like was the director of Sword, which is definitely interesting. Maria Rambo, we actually see see her in Captain Marvel. If you don't know who that is, um, she's a friend of Cap uh, or Carol Danvers, whatever. Um, so. Yeah, they're, they're, um, there, and then we see that, um, Monica Rambo is tasked with doing something for a missing person's case, delivering a drone, and then we find out it's Westview, which if you don't know what that is, it's basically the place where Wanda and Vision are, the town they supposedly live in, but then they realize that it's not a real town, and, uh, yeah, then uh, they fly the drone in there. And then we get the answer to one of our questions as well. Which is the helicopter back in like episode number two, I believe it was. Um, how did that get there and how was it colorful? And that was supposedly a drone. Um, that was technically a drone that was fit into a helicopter to fit in with the episode apparently. So yeah, we now we understand one thing as as well as that. And we also see that it's not two decades, but actually three decades. It's actually episode one supposedly takes place in the 50s, episode two in the 60s, and then 70s is um, episode three. And I and I realized that because I was in the previous reviews and stuff, I was talking about 60s and 70s. But then I realized it's kind of hard to differentiate um, the 50s and 60s personally. Maybe you have a keen eye for that, but personally I don't. And they explain that in the episode. Um, then Marie, 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 no, not Maria, sorry, Monica Rambo gets sucked into the town. And we realize that she's in there and whatever. Uh, we also see Agent Wu from Ant-Man the Wasp. He's in there as well, which is always cool to have an appearance by him, but... Yeah, uh, then he's there, he's there as well with S.W.O.R.D. and they create a whole sting operation or whatever. And they're just watching what Bond is doing. And uh, Darcy Lewis ends up seeing that now they ha apparently have uh, like a camera, like they can watch it on TV. That's what we've been seeing at the end of the episode, someone watching it on a TV, it's Darcy Lewis. It's nothing too major. Um, yeah, then that happens. And 
They're basically watching him on TV. Then we see where where Agent Wu is like, Wanda, Wanda, whatever, right? Uh, we see that play out as well. Um, we also see that they uh, put somebody in the sewers or whatever, or in a tunnel, and they go into the town. And then they realize that that's the person who's the beekeeper. And then they're just in there, and then they get whatever whatever happens to them. And, uh, yeah. Um, we all we also get some confirmation that the people who are in there as well, these extras and stuff, um, like Mr. Hart and all those people, are all played by real people who are, like, missing or something. And I have a feeling that there's an Easter egg in one of those names. Um, I think there is. I have to do a bit of research, but... Yeah, I would definitely check it out because there might be an Easter egg. And also, I realized something very keen. Is they never talked about Agnes. Which was very strange. Um, I've heard a lot of theories su suggesting that Agnes could be Memphisto. Which is definitely pretty interesting. I mean, I don't know if I believe Ag uh, Memphisto is the villain of the show. Or if he's going to be introduced in this or not. Because... Um, I'm curious to see how they do it, honestly, because Memphisto, I wonder if they're going to be doing what he's going to look like, especially. Um, is he is he going to be like CGI or ant? Like, I, I don't know. Is he going to take like some kind of human form and fight or whatever? Because that's the real question here. But, uh, yeah, we see that. Um, definitely really interesting in that aspect. My thoughts... Personally, I I really enjoy it the way it's leading up to stuff. Um, I'm especially thinking now that maybe Wanda, Wanda has something seriously wrong with her, like a villain has influence over her, or two, she's this is a gateway to becoming a villain because I think inevitably I think Wanda's eventually gonna become a villain. That's just that's just me being honest. I think Wanda might become a villain down the line. Um, especially with this picture. Vision is looking a little bit scary, honestly. Not scary, but he's looking a little bit mad there. Um, yeah, we also see Vision. Wanda's getting glimpses of the outside world. Like, she fully knows what Monica Rambo is not supposed to be here. That's why she obviously shoots her out or whatever. And we also see a glimpse of Vision without the Mind Stone and ripped his... Like, how he looked like in Infinity War... Which is definitely interesting in that aspect. I think, to be honest with you, I, I think maybe what's happening in the Memphisto theory is what... Is I'm thinking that Wanda probably made a deal with him. Um, where she can have basically her own little place um, in Vision. But I, I'm curious to see what is Memphisto's role. What is he getting out of this? Because... If you know Manfisto from the comics, he always wants something in return, which is usually not good. Um, I, I'm not even usually all the time not good. Like, for example, in um, I forget what the comics called, but uh, Manfisto makes a deal with uh, Peter Parker to save Aunt May, and in, in turn, he would not have um, his marriage to Mary Jane, which in case is very bad in my opinion. It's just terrible, and also restores identity. I forgot that part. So yeah, Manfisto um, could definitely be introduced. I, I think he could be. Um, people are saying it's Agnes, but I don't know. I, I don't know if it'll be the most shocking in my opinion. Not shocking now, but um, I'll be pretty shocked. Uh, yeah, Agnes. Agnes seems like she's really nice and stuff. Um, I mean, Wanda looks like a villain, kind of. Uh, what else? Uh, yeah, we didn't really see much from Wanda or Vision this episode. We saw a little bit, but we mostly saw them on the TV screen. That's about it. Um, yeah, nice to see Darcy Lewis come back after her hiatus or whatever the hell. <laughs> like, uh, she hadn't been in a Marvel movie since, like, Thor The Dark World <laughs> or something like that. Uh, I'm surprised we didn't see whatever his... Uh, I forgot his name. 
the doctor from Thor, I, I can't, for, I forget his name, but he was in the first two. Uh, yeah, he, and he was also in the Avengers, I can't remember his name. I'm pretty sure he's played by, like, Bill Skarsgård or something. Um, I think that's his name, but other than that, uh, that's basically it. Honestly, comment down below what you guys thought of this episode. Did you like it? Did you not like it? Do you think it could have been done better? Whatever. Was it interesting? Comment down below your guys' opinion. Um, anyways, thanks for watching. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.